If you're interested in investing for your child's future, here are four different options to consider. 529 plans. You can open a 529 plan to save for education-related expenses, like college tuition, books, housing, K-12 private school costs, student loan payments, and more. Any growth is tax-free and isn't treated as taxable income if used for qualified expenses. And thanks to Secure 2.0 Act, in some circumstances, you may be able to roll over unused 529 funds into a Roth IRA for the account beneficiary. IRAs. It's never too early to save for retirement. As long as your child has earned income, they can contribute to an IRA. And the sooner they start, the better. Any growth is tax-free. And thanks to compounding, starting early can make a big difference over time. Roth IRAs can be particularly great for younger people because they're taxed at contribution, not at withdrawal. And many people are in lower income tax brackets when they're younger. Custodial brokerage accounts. You can open a custodial brokerage account in your child's name, put money in it, and maintain it for them as they grow. Once they reach the age of adulthood in their state, they assume ownership of the account and can use it as they see fit. Custodial accounts are generally flexible, easy to set up, and may have tax benefits. Trust funds. You might think that trust funds are only for the ultra wealthy, but the truth is that they can be a valuable part of anyone's estate plan. When you pass, your trust fund can dictate how your assets are distributed to your children, designate a trustee who must act in their best interest, and even establish rules about how specific assets must be used. And remember, as you think about investing in your child's financial future, you may want to talk with a financial advisor who can review your goals and help you understand all your options.